Let's this, this real one. life lore video is made possible by Storyblocks. Click the link in the description for an exclusive seven day free trial and download photos, illustrations, vectors, and more for your next video or artistic project. So as okay. most of us are probably aware, predicting the future is a very difficult business to be involved in. Unanticipated events can always change what we thought would happen, but we're still free to make our best educated guesses with the means that are available to us. With that in mind, here are the events that will most likely happen before the year 2050 for you to look forward to happening. So just gauging from that intro, I'm going to guess that this video is going to be a lot of speculation. And I'm cool with that. I always say I like the thought experiment videos. But I know that not everybody does, so if that's you, this is your fair warning right now. I'm just trying to get through as many of the subscriber requests as possible, so. Starting out just next year in 2018, two new countries may emerge in the form of New Caledonia and Bougainville in the Pacific, as they hold independence referendums from France and Papua New Guinea, respectively. I don't know what happened with Bougainville. This video is old. Okay, this video is five years old. So New Caledonia, I believe, remains a territory, not a country. But hopefully someone who knows for sure can let us know down in the comments. The FIFA World Cup will be held in Russia, and NASA will deploy the James Webb Space Telescope, which will be significantly more powerful than the Hubble Space Telescope. Yeah. In 2019, the United Kingdom will officially leave the European Union, and the FIFA Women's World Cup will be held in France. The next year in 2020 will probably be quite eventful. The Jeddah Tower in it Saudi was. Arabia is scheduled to be completed, which will become the new tallest structure in the world at a full kilometer tall. Oh. The summer. This video is already giving me pangs of nostalgia because Brexit did end up happening by 2020. The Jeddah Tower is still unfinished. Burj Khalifa remains the tallest building in the world. But when he said that 2020, is going to be very eventful. It made me chuckle because I thought he surely didn't know that COVID was going to happen. I'm actually not sure if I'm allowed to say that word on YouTube. Well. Olympics will be held in Tokyo and Bigelow Aerospace plans on beginning construction of the first ever space hotel that will be able to accommodate six very wealthy guests at a time. In 2021, no, India is expected to launch their first ever manned space mission. And the following year in 2022, China plans on constructing their first very own space station. In addition, the FIFA World Cup will be hosted once again in Qatar, and the Winter Olympics will be hosted in Beijing, China. In 2023, the copyrights on the earliest Mickey Mouse cartoons will expire under current US copyright law. All right, that's getting interesting though. There's something about calling it Qatar that just never sounds right to me. I pronounce that country Qatar. And I know British people might say the same thing, just minus that final R sound. But I think that English speakers have such a problem with that word, country name, because it uses two letters that don't translate into our alphabet. So seek the correct answer from someone who's from there, but I'll probably never call it Qatar. You let me know what you call it. And as far as 2023, everything that he said was going to happen before that year that didn't happen, let us know what those events were because there are some that I'm just not sure about. But 2024 will be much more eventful. The company SpaceX ostensibly has plans on launching their first rocket carrying cargo to Mars this year in preparation of a future manned mission. At the same time, the International Space Station will probably run out of funding in this year and be decommissioned as a result, although this may be delayed until 2028. Finally this year, the Feymon Belt Fixed Link will be completed, which will provide a direct rail and highway link between northern Germany and Copenhagen in Denmark. In 2025, oh. the Giant Magellan Telescope is scheduled to be completed. It will be the largest observatory in the world at this point and have 10 times the resolution power of the Hubble Space Telescope. In addition, cool. the UK will have completely phased out all of their coal power plants. The next year in 2026 will possibly see SpaceX launch the first ever manned mission to Mars if everything goes according to their current schedule. Did you see the SpaceX 
test explosion a few weeks back. I'm recording this video in May 2023, and this was a big month for SpaceX. And by the time I upload this video, hopefully it'll still be in May, the company does have another launch coming up. I'm going to find you a schedule if you're interested in that, and I'll link it in the description. NASA also has plans to send a manned mission to visit an asteroid this year, and construction on the Catalan Cathedral Sagrada Familia will also be finally completed. Construction on this epic church began all the way back in 1882, which means that it will have taken 144 years to finally complete it this year. In 2027, 10 years from the current year if you are watching this in 2017, the SpaceX crew that launched the year previously will finally arrive at their destination, oh, wow. meaning that we might witness the first ever humans to set foot on Mars this year. Also, the full autopsy report on Elvis Presley, which was agreed to be sealed for 50 years following his death, will finally be made publicly available this year. In 2028, the Summer Olympics will be hosted in Los Angeles, California. At near the end of the decade in 2029, the cities of San Francisco and Los Angeles will be connected by a high-speed rail line that can transport people from one to the other in just 2 hours and 20 minutes. That sounds but when the 2030s finally arrive, we'll all be in for a very interesting decade. At some point this decade, NASA plans on launching their own manned mission to Mars, so if SpaceX failed to accomplish this in 2027, then NASA will probably land the first humans on the red planet sometime around now. China further has plans on launching their own manned mission to the moon sometime during this decade as well, and Russia has plans on landing their own cosmonauts on the moon in the year 2031. Skipping ahead to 2036, however, and we arrive at perhaps the most ambitious upcoming space project called Breakthrough Starshot. Without going into too much details, the plan should be able to send tiny spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri star system, the nearest other star to Earth. A planet inside the system, Proxima Centauri b, is located inside of the habitable zone here and could possibly be home to some form of alien life. When the tiny ships are hopefully launched in 2036, they will arrive in the system 20 to 30 years later and can take detailed photographs of this mysterious planet. In 2037, we may see the first summer where there won't be any ice in the Arctic, and by 2040, France will have completely banned the sale of all gasoline and diesel vehicles in the country. In 2042, the world population will have probably reached 9 billion people, while Americans of European ancestry will become a minority group inside of the United States for the first time. This year will also probably see the advent of the world's first trillionaire as well. And in 2044, the works of J.R.R. Tolkien, including The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, the will domain. enter into the public domain. 2045 is the estimated year of the technological singularity according to the famed futurist Ray Kurzweil, meaning that this may be the year where artificial intelligence will surpass human intelligence, which could lead to enormous and unforeseen changes in society. In 2048, the Antarctic Treaty will come up for review, which could lead to mining and oil industries opening up on the continent for the first time. And finally, we will arrive at the year of 2050. By this point, half of the Amazon rainforest will likely be deforested. About 70% of the world population will be living in cities. About half of the global population may not have access to clean drinking water. The average global life expectancy may be 76 years old. There will be super smart artificial intelligences that will be even smarter than humans. Self-driving cars will likely be normal. And a new, new world of possibly hundreds or even thousands of people will be living and working on Mars. There are things to be both afraid of and excited for in the future, so let's make sure to work as hard as we can in the present to make our future the best one that we can possibly imagine. Okay, that was fun. This was another one from Real Life Lore. We haven't seen anything from this channel in a very long time, so thank you for sending it in. It's nice to put this back into the mix. What do you guys think about that? 2050 doesn't seem too far off for me. But continuing the thought experiment, if you have any ideas of how you think the world will look in 2050, please write that in the comments. 
And for a literary recommendation, I had one in my mind. Oh, when he mentioned Sagrada Familia, a, an author that always comes to my mind is Hemingway, when I think of Spain, because he spent a lot of time there and he has a lot of books with a lot of, he has a few books with Spanish theme, but this one in particular, I read in Spanish and I'm not positive of what the English version of the book is called. I think this is the one that translates to the sun also rises in Eng in Spanish, excuse me, it's called Fiesta. So hard to tell, but I'll write the correct name of the book here. And it's a good one because it's a group of international friends. They go to the Running of the Bulls Festival. I can't say that I'm a fan of every Hemingway book that I've read. Maybe I've read six. This is for sure my favorite. A lot of the characters are enigmatic. It's so well written. And there's a lot of cultural elements as well. I'll link the book in the description, and if there's a free audiobook version here on YouTube, I'll make sure to add that as well. If you have any other books in mind that go to any of the subjects, or maybe a dystopian future book that you want to add, feel free to do that. And that's really all I've got for you. So leave your thoughts on any of it, and thank you for watching with me.